Hello CHS, I'm Mike. I'm Katie. I'm Abby. And I am Sophie. Welcome to Everything Sports and Panther News Special Quarantine Edition. While we are all bored in quarantine, I thought I would suggest some activities that you can do during the day to take up some time. The first thing you can do is catch up on any online schoolwork, and now you can even join a Zoom meeting to see your teachers and classmates. Other activities I suggest include to take walks around the neighborhood, read a new book, complete puzzles, binge watch a new show, play board games, listen to music, look through old photos, start a journal, FaceTime friends, and find a new hobby that you enjoy, like painting, photography, baking, etc. I hope you can find something new and fun to do with this list. So something crazy happened on April 28th that's not really getting talked about. The Pentagon officially released three short videos from 2017 showing unidentified aerial phenomena that had previously been released by a private company. <laughs> In these videos, we can see unidentified flying objects moving while being recorded by infrared cameras. Two of the videos have service members talking and reacting to how quickly the objects are moving. One pilot suggested it could be a drone. The Navy acknowledged the video back in September and are now officially releasing them in order to clear up any misconceptions by the public on whether or not the footage that has been circulating was real or whether or not there is more to the videos, according to Pentagon spokesperson Sue Guff. The Navy now has formal guidelines for how its pilots can report when they think they have seen possible UFOs. One of the pilots who saw one of the unidentified objects in 2004 told CNN that it moved in ways he couldn't explain. Luis Elizondo, the former head of the classified program that studied recordings of aerial encounters with unknown objects, told CNN in 2017 that he personally believes there is very compelling evidence that we may not be alone. Some members of Congress are still interested in these unidentified aircrafts and receive classified briefings from Navy officials. Even Mark Hamill, known for playing Luke Skywalker, made a joke and posted on Twitter about it, saying that these UFOs are TIE fighters. So basically, the government confirmed UFOs exist, and the world is already dealing with enough problems right now that no one is addressing it. Come back next week for some more crazy space-related news. Governor Lamont announced this week that school is going to be canceled for the rest of the year. It is upsetting that we won't be able to see our teachers and friends in a classroom until August. Other than that, we have had a pretty successful first week of Zoom meetings with our classes. There were a few glitches the first couple of days as everyone got their connection set up properly. These weekly interactions will continue for the rest of the school year. The Miami Dolphins seem to have come up with a practical plan to hold socially distant games in the fall. President Trump has made remarks about having football games next fall with packed crowds, but it doesn't seem realistic to have 100,000 people in a stadium. Instead, the Dolphins publicly discuss contingency plans that limit crowds to about 15,000. They would also be making more significant changes to account for social distancing. Things are definitely going to look very different next fall compared to this past fall's football games, but at least this gives us some hope for the next football season. Overall, this has been a pretty nice week of weather. We had warm temperature temps during the day and cooler temps at night. The dry week is leading us to, into a mostly dry weekend, but it will be a bit cooler. Friday starts us off with a high of 59 with a low of 38, 35, and afternoon showers. Sunday, Saturday dries us back out with partly cloudy skies, but temperatures will dip even further, further with a high of 47 and a low of 37. Sunday will also have partly dry cloudy skies with a high of 55 and a low of 38. Get outside when you can. Just be sure to keep your distance from others. Stay safe out there. The votes rolled in and here was a favorite video from the juggling toilet paper rolls challenge. The weekly challenge last week was a tongue twister. Here's what some of the teachers and students came up with. Hey mom, try it like this. A skunk sat on a stump. Oh, okay. <laughs> a skunk sat on a stump and thunk, the stump stunk, but the stump thunk and the skunk stunk. Pretty good? Yeah. Get inside. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? If a woodchuck could chuck wood, he would chuck as much wood as a woodchuck could chuck. Round the rough and rugged rock, the ragged rascal rudely ran. Round the rough and rugged rock, the ragged rascal rudely ran. Round the rough and rugged rock, the radical rascal man ran. Round the rough and rugged rock, the radical man ran. Round the rough and rugged rock, the rugged rascal rudely ran. Rough rock.
man ran. A skunk sat on a stump and thunk the stump stunk, but the stump thunk the skunk stunk. These were some great attempts. We are asking you to vote for the best attempt at the challenge. Click the link in the description below to place your vote for the best attempt. We will reveal the winner on next week's episode. Now CHS students and teachers, this week's challenge is blindfold drawing. Can you draw a house while being blindfolded? Complete this challenge or make it even bigger. Record your attempt and be creative. We will show the biggest and funniest attempts on air next week. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Have a great weekend. We will see you on the next CHS Everything Sports and Panther News.